to the action here at the Leicester Arena. We're live on Five Spike. Blaine McGuigan Cyclone Promotions, sponsored by Ladbrooks, by Maxi Nutrition and by Volterol. Very proud to bring you four three-minute rounds of international cruiserweight action. On the bell, our timekeeper is Mr. Tony Dunkley, and in charge of the action, a referee from Newark, Mr. Kev Parker, introducing in the red corner, wearing the red shorts with blue and white trim. On the scales, 13 stone and 13 pounds from 12 contests. He has six wins, six defeats, four of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Yasbury, Hungary, Laszlo Ivanyi. And in the blue corner, wearing the black shorts, red and gold, official weight, 14 stone, six pounds. A perfect record. Three contests, three wins, all three wins inside the distance. From Bournemouth, Dorset, the gentleman, Chris Billum Smith. Both know the rules, I expect a clean contest. Remember to obey my commands at all times and break clean. We've we'll all protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. So a fourth professional outing for Chris Billum Smith, who was impressive but certainly flawed against Jan Razdira three weeks ago in Edinburgh. See if we can see a more uh, picture perfect performance from him. Can just be guilty a little bit of admiring his work and occasionally walked onto shots from Razdira, who didn't have the power to trouble him. And I'm not sure Laszlo Ivanyi will either, today's <laughs> opponent from. Hungary, the big Ferenc Varos fan. He's got a Ferenc Varos tattoo on his right calf. And he's going to have to bite down on his gum shield and take a bit to give a bit here. Smith's tall, rangy, isn't he? And um, he uses that quite well. He's going to keep using that jab. Um, last time out, um, he kept on he's breaking away from his opponents. His hands were a little bit low, so he got caught here and there. But straight away, I can see that right hand's a little bit higher. Just blocking the left hook, you see there. But I do like the look of Chris Billum Smith. He uses that jab very well. Like I say, tall, rangy. He's just got to block a few shots when he's moving away from his opponent. But that's better work, and that's a nice left hook there also. Yeah, looks a bit more measured, doesn't he, so far tonight? Taking a breath before he throws a shot and just thinking about his work. And just lands another left hook there. Good opening from. Certainly the bigger man, the taller man, the man with the bigger reach. Who is still a work in progress, having only made his debut in September. Vanny's won uh, six of his 12 fights. Four knockouts, but with respect against uh, inferior opposition to this. Fighting a man on the up here. Good job again. Great. Billum Smith. Just moving back in the straight line there. Some kind of little mistakes for him, though. But Ivanyi is getting caught left, right, and centre now. This is good work. Good ball. That's a good body shot. He wasn't making himself a moving target. Caught to the head, then caught to the body. I'm not sure he's getting up here, Laszlo Ivanyi. Trying to get to his feet, but over he goes, and out he goes. First round win for Chris Billum smith Four out of four now, Richie. Yeah, tremendous left up to the body, wasn't it? And um, Laszlo Ivanyi was taking the shots upstairs. He was getting through, but that left up to the body, that was a peach of a punch, a real good shot indeed, and he, he couldn't make the count. Let's have a look at it here. So Chris Billum smith on the attack here. There's a left hook, so Ivanyi takes that one, and another jab. And the punches keep, keep raining in on him. There's a good right hook to the body, then the left hook came, and that was the one that he couldn't recover from. So it was a good right hook to the body, and then a left hook. But here, the shots keep coming from Chris Billum smith There's the right hand, and here's the left hook. There it is there, straight under the elbows. Or the, left, the right elbow of his opponent. On the attack, keeps it going. Just missed there, but then he switches downstairs. Right hook, left hook. 
it's all over. Yeah, good performance from Chris Billum Smith. It'll be interesting to see where he goes at Cruiserweight in 2018. But he is a comprehensive winner. And we just wait for the uh, official announcement. Still waiting for Laszlo Ivani. Here he comes. And so uh, here's Craig with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time is two minutes and 17 seconds of round number one. Referee Kev Parker reaches the count of 10. The winner by count of, and still undefeated, the gentleman, Chris Billam Smith. So Chris Billam Smith makes it four out of and four. Please, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be appreciation uh, as he leaves hearing the from him in just a moment. Me. Sparred with Hay in the uh, McGuigan's gym when David Hay was still with uh, Shane McGuigan. Clearly plenty of talent. A couple of ABA finals for Chris Billum smith as well, and he's brought that amateur pedigree. Did have a shoulder injury as an amateur, which held him back a bit. He is 27, Chris Billum smith so he needs to, uh, to get going. But here he is with uh, his trainer, Shane McGuigan, with Colin. Well, just coming down here at the moment, Shane, it says CBS there, and every time I see you, you write a new headline. I mean, that was a guy you were expected to beat, but listen, he hasn't went down inside five rounds before, and you've blown him away. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just st stuck to the instructions from Shane, take your time, effing off the jab, fainting with the jab. Um, yeah, happy body shots seem to be paying off at the moment, so yeah, happy days. Were you prepared for a longer fight? He was a durable fighter, and it goes to show what talent we have sitting there. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, um, you know, he... he, he this is routine, you know, wins for him. But I, I think, uh, you know, we, we're doing all the learning in the gym, and we were expecting a few more rounds there tonight. But he is, you know, he's progressing very quick, and he's sharp and accurate. He's just getting the shots, he's getting the timing really quickly. And uh, next thing you know, they're, they're getting out of there. So we got to step him up in competition pretty quickly. Yeah, we're seeing that, aren't we? And, and you must be gagging for that, and that must be music to your ears when you hear that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I want to, I want to be in the big fights as every every boxer does. So. Um, yeah, you've know, got the Commonwealth title fight next um, on tonight with Luke Watkins, who I've sparred before. Um, and they're the you know, sort of fights I want to be in, so yeah, I need to step it up and get there as soon as I can. How are you enjoying the cut and thrust of fight straight back in the gym? Fight straight back in the gym? Because you're having to live and breathe it. Is that something you have to really apply yourself to do, or do you just eat it all up? Uh, it's a job at the end of the day, just like anyone else's job. Um, so yeah, I've had, that's my fourth fight in 11 weeks, so... You ask any pro, they want to be busy, so, um, or even any boxer. I'm more busy now as a pro than I was as an amateur, so I'm happy to be busy. I'm going to enjoy Christmas now, um, put, on, put on a bit of weight. What are we talking weight-wise here? Uh, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Probably not too much, but yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay fit. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to have a little bit of a break. Uh, like I said, I've been in camp for six months in total now since I've joined Cyclone and Shane. So, yeah, looking forward to a little bit of a break. Well, I'd love to hear from uh, both of you, and particularly start with Shane. I mean, I, I don't know anyone else.